James Sutherland. Mr Speaker, thank you. The CAS review interim report found that to date there is a profound lack of evidence on the best approach to treat gender dysphoria in children. Does my right honourable friend share my concern that in spite of this, the NHS insists on making a child's express gender identity the start point for treatment, and also my surprise that the NHS has chosen so far not to track patient outcomes, particularly for under 18s? Yeah. Mr Speaker, I do share my honourable friend's concerns, and that is why the NHS commissioned this review from one of our top paediatricians. It is already clear to me from her interim findings and from the evidence, uh, other evidence that I have seen that the NHS services in this area are too narrow, they are overly affirmative, and that, in fact they are bordering on ideological. And that is why in this uh, emerging area, of course, we need to be absolutely sensitive, but we need to make sure that there is holistic care that is provided, that there is not a one-way street, and that all medical interventions are based on the best clinical evidence.